I-93 is a major artery for those traveling both in and out of Boston. Roughly 200,000 cars flow over its bridges every day. For more than 50 years, these structures needed only periodic maintenance and occasional repair. That is, until August of 2010. Now at 5, two giant potholes open up on 93 within a matter of hours. Just how long this traffic nightmare will last. I've been in the 93 traffic for about an hour and a half. I thought they fixed that yesterday. Last summer, a decking failure on an I-93 bridge in Medford required emergency repairs. I could see completely through from upstairs on uh, the I-93 uh, northbound traffic to the uh, local road Valley Street below. Traffic was stalled for days while interim repairs were made. The failure put the spotlight on the impact of the state's structurally deficient bridges. The problem is old concrete. The decks were built in 1959 and 1960. They haven't been replaced. The Massachusetts Department of Transportation, or MassDOT, wants to ensure incidents like this won't happen again. The 93 Fast 14 project will repair 14 deteriorated bridges on I-93 in Medford, Massachusetts between now and the end of 2011. MassDOT is repairing the bridges that carry I-93 northbound and southbound at seven locations between Route 16 and Valley Street. The Patrick Murray Administration's Historic Accelerated Bridge Program is using cutting-edge bridge construction techniques to get the work done in a matter of months and limit road work to off-peak hours. Our Accelerated Bridge Program is very proactive and uh, you know this type of project would normally take us between four and five years. One of the benefits of this project is that it reduces the overall construction time significantly therefore reducing unnecessary construction delays for the roadway users. We are trying to serve the public better as more and more of these projects are implemented and as the public becomes more aware of the benefits of this type of construction that they will demand in the future that this would be used all the time. The 93 Fast 14 plan will replace the deteriorated superstructures with prefabricated modular units eliminating years of work in the roadway. Accelerated bridge construction is a technology MassDOT considered to be the best choice to expedite construction and to minimize traffic impact for these I-93 bridges. While the use of this type of accelerated bridge technology has been used in other parts of the nation, the 93 Fast 14 is the most aggressive project of its kind. It's the first for MassDOT uh, in this, this, this type and this uh, magnitude. Technology has come a long way in, in the last 20 years and um, we're going to use it uh, to our advantage on this project. The demolition of the existing superstructures and erection of the new ones will require lane restrictions on I-93 between the Somerville border and Spot Pond in Stoneham. Lane restrictions will be limited to weekends in June, July and August. No work will occur on the 4th of July weekend. On any given weekend, a local roadway will be closed to all traffic, including emergency vehicles, and we've planned and coordinated that effort with state, local police, fire, and all other types of emergency response services. 5G, bring them through a slow rate. We have the State Police Mobile Command Center staged in Wellington Circle, and all of our emergency access people are there, along with people from MassDOT who are going to monitor the area, monitor live camera coverage in, in, in this area, not just 93, but in and around downtown Boston, to make sure that we have um, complete coverage. Here's what you can expect. On Friday nights, crews will begin to secure the work zone by closing the local road under the bridge at 6 p.m. Equipment will begin to move into location, and at 8 p.m., zipper trucks will deploy a temporary barrier providing a safe crossover, which will be fully in place at 10 p.m. I-93 will carry two lanes of traffic in each direction from 10 p.m. on Friday until 5 a.m. the following Monday. When possible, lanes and ramps will be open for local access. Crews will demolish the existing superstructure throughout Friday night and into Saturday morning. Cranes will move into position and hoist the prefabricated superstructure units into place. After they have been erected, they will be connected with a rapidly setting concrete. 
On Sunday, crews will install temporary barriers, paint lane markings, and reopen all roads in time for Monday morning's rush hour. We're just uh, taking innovation and making it happen over a 55-hour window. The schedule, while aggressive, is achievable, and erecting the pieces over weekends avoids impacting weekday rush hour traffic. MassDOT worked with the City of Medford and other surrounding communities to ensure the plan minimized the impact to the area businesses and residents. The communication between all agencies and departments has been excellent. We hope everything is going to go smoothly. We know everyone's doing their best to make sure that the public's informed to, to uh, make sure they take alternate routes and follow some of the detours that have been set up. Using these accelerated techniques, MassDOT's accelerated bridge program will complete the project in months rather than several years, providing high quality structures that have been designed to last at least 75 years. Each week, MassDOT will be working on a different bridge, so local detour routes will vary. To learn more about this project, sign up to receive a weekly construction forecast via email, view detour route maps, or to send questions or comments to the project team, please visit the project website at www.mass.gov slash mass dot slash 93 fast 14.